Hi, I'm Elizabeth Townsend Gard um, from Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. Today we have a video, a video, um, and we're doing a sew along, a sew along where Gigi Bai will be leading us through Jen Kingwell's The Gypsy Wife Quilt, which is awesome. Um, so these are videos that Gigi will produce um, and help us understand how to do it. And Corey Dutton, um, a law student, is going to learn to quilt. So um, it's for beginners, advanced people, even law students. Um, and it will be great. So uh, I hope this helps. So where do you find the pattern? Um, Jen Kinkwell's pattern can be found at Amazon. It's again called the Gypsy Wife Quilt. It's super popular. You can also get it at Uptown Needle and Craftworks here in New Orleans. Just um, look them up online and call them or at any quilt shop. So get the pattern and join us. Hi. Okay, so now we're ready to work on our final um, block for this section three, and it is the color wheel. This one I loved. I did it all out of um, this, out of the same fabric. It, it, within that piece of fabric, there are all these different designs, so I was able to cut it, fussy cut it kind of, to make it fit so that um, I didn't have to do a bunch of different kinds of fabric. But I also have another one so I can show you how we're doing it, and you see how I have it laid out. The main thing about this one is you know, getting your pieces cut, you cut your center square, and I believe that one is cut, it's all the directions are on page five, but um, the center square is, um, let's see, three and a half. So that gets you started, okay? I like laying it out because I think it's real important to see um, what's happening. And then just work on it a little section by section as you're going through so that you don't get pieces mixed up. So if it's laying right here next to me as I go, I can do this to this and then kind of work my way across this row, then work my way across this row, and then finally work my way across this row. When I go to put them together, I'm going to be very careful that I um, am, am not stretching at all because these are cut on the bias, and we want to have a good scant quarter of an inch seam um, when we get it. Hi, I'm back again. Um, a quarter inch seam when we go to put it all together. So I'm just going to get started, dive right in, and I'm going to keep working. So if it kind of separated out like this, well, let's go back so you can see it again. So I've got the first little block that I'm going to put together. The second I get this sewn, I'm going to press it, open it up, and put it back where it belongs so that I remember exactly how it goes together because it's so easy to twist and turn and say, oh, here we go, and then you have to rip. So be real careful, keep it exactly as it needs to be. Oh, well, the other thing is, is where you're sewing. So, um, sometimes you get over to the sewing machine, you go, oh, do I sew here or do I sew here? So, I suggest pinning it with this specific block so that we don't mess up and sew down here when we should be sewing right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this piece, put it on top. I did um, press these before so they're nice and crisp. Um, I like doing that. And then I'll pin it right where I want to sew. And I'll get started with this. I'm going to work my way across. So I'll sew this first. Then I'm going to sew this one to this one. And once I get these two sewn, I can sew, open them up and sew them to this one. Um, so it's just a little process of going through, taking your time, a little bit at a time, and making your way. So I'll go ahead and pin this one right exactly where it is that I want to sew my quarter inch seam. And once I get those two sewn and open back up, I can then lay them down onto here. And then I have another um, half square triangle here. So I'm going to go ahead and pin that one too, and my top row will be ready for me to sew. And again, you want to try and look at it um, that you're going to be doing that scant quarter of an inch. Um, but if you've cut everything according to her directions on page five, then it should come out the right size and the finished size. 
the, um, once it's in the quilt, it'll be nine inches, but right now it's nine and a half inches square. Okay, so now you can see that I have my top row sewn together, my middle row um, pieces sewn, and my bottom row. Now they're ready to put together, and I'll just move from one piece to the other. I'll put this one on top of this one and get it um, together. I am going to change the way I've pressed it. I had pressed it to the dark side, um, but I really want to have one going in one direction, one seam going in one direction, and the other seam going in the other direction so it can nestle together like that. So I will go back and press that differently, um, but always keeping it um, together so that you and pinning it so that you know um, well actually I don't really have to worry about that seam too much because it doesn't really um, it's not like it's well it's just at the beginning the other thing you can do is cut your dog ears off if that makes you feel more comfortable I am going to go back I do like it to feel like it's pressing together right there um, and not so thick with both of them on the same side. So I'll go back and press that. I'll pin along here so that I know that's the side I sew. And when I open it back up again, I'll have it ready for this one to get sewn on and so, so forth. I'll do row, 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 and then I'll sew them together like that. Okay, so now I have a finished color wheel. Um, another one and I'm real pleased with it I think I like this one better I think this is the one when I'm actually gonna probably have two quilts now since I have to do each one several times um, but I like this one for the quilt that I started so I'll save this one for another time but good luck to everybody and I hope it comes out nine and a half um, to be able to be fit into the quilt just like you want it and I'll see y'all soon with section four, which is really an easy section. Okay. This is Elizabeth Townsend Guard from Just Wanna Quilts. You've been listening to Gigi Bai take us through an aspect of the Gypsy Wife Quilt by Jen Kingwell. Make sure you get the pattern. You can get the pattern at Amazon or Uptown Needle and Craft Works here in New Orleans or at your local quilt shop. Um, you need the pattern to be able to understand what's going on and then um, Gigi helps us through it. So join us. Come play with us. Come to our Facebook group, Just Want a Quilt. Uh, go to our website and be part of our newsletter where we'll help you through the Gypsy Wife Quilt. Um, that's JustWantAQuilt.com spelled W-A-N-N-A Just Want a Quilt. Um, and of course, listen to our podcast. It's available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and if you can't a chance to like it on those, it would be super awesome.